Hello everyone. Welcome back to our TBS class. I hope you all are fine and doing your work very well. My dear students, in the last session we have learned different physical features of India. Do you remember what are the different physical features of India? Yes, very good. The different physical features of India are northern mountains, northern plain, then peninsular plateaus, great Indian desert and the coastal plains and islands. All right, these are the some physical features of India. Now, in today's class, we are going to start new lesson of EVS second that is lesson number 7 united we stand part 1. Okay? What is the name of lesson? The name of lesson is United We Stand Part 1. While reading this lesson, we may come across with some new words. And that new words are the keywords. So you have to write down these keywords in your EBS second notebook. Alright? Okay. See here. The first word is culture. What is the first word? The first word is culture. Then the second word official. What is the second word? The second word is official. Then we have the word majority. Okay. What is the third word? A majority. Then here we have word bilingual. What is the next word? Bilingual. Then we have the next word as multilingual. What is the word? Multilingual. Then diversity. Here we have word diversity. Okay. Here humidity. What is the next word? It's humidity. Okay. Then here we have climate. What is the next word? Climate. Then clothing. What is the next word? Clothing. And the last word is staple diet. What is the last word? The last word is staple diet. Okay? So here in this lesson we are going to learn about different things such as culture, languages, food and life of the people living in India. Okay? So here the first point that we all know we are having different things in India or we are having a diversity in India. We can say that India is one country with many different cultures. Okay? What is the point? That India is one country with different cultures. Now what is culture? Do you know what is meant by culture? Yes. What is culture? The culture is nothing but languages, food, clothing style and other habits of group of people is known as their culture. Okay. See, what is meant by culture? The culture is nothing but the language, food, clothing and other habits of group of people is called their culture. Suppose the people who are living in a region, they speak same language, they celebrate same festival, they eat same type of food, it is called as their culture. Okay, do you understood? Yes, very good. Now tell me, what is culture? Yes, good. Culture is nothing but language, food, clothing and other habits of a group of people. It is called their culture. Okay. So in India, we have different cultures in different regions. Means in different regions, people use different languages, they eat different food, they wear different types of clothes and they also have different types of habits. Okay? So we can say that in India we have variety of cultures. Okay? 
So here now we will see one by one the points which are different in the India. That are languages, food, the clothing and other things. Okay. So the first point is about languages. Can you tell me which is your mother tongue? Yes, very good. Our mother tongue is Marathi as we are living in Maharashtra in such a way that the people who live in the region they are having their own language. Okay. So here in India we have two main official languages. Okay. Which are that two main official languages? Yes, very good. Hindi and English. These are the two main official languages. Now what is official language? Official language means the language is used for the word. Okay. In, in India, our central government use Hindi and English language for their work. Okay. Which languages do we use? We use Hindi and English as official languages of central government. Okay. Then similarly we have different languages that are 22 languages and these languages are of states. Okay. There are different states in India such as Maharashtra, Rajasthan, Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Jammu and Kashmir and many more. Okay. So each state is having its own official language. Alright. And the central government use Hindi and English as official language. And each state choose their own language for using as official language. Okay. So there are 22 official languages in India used in different states. Okay. Such as in Maharashtra we use Marathi. Marathi is our official language in Maharashtra. Okay. Here I will write examples such as Marathi. Then Urdu. In some region people use Urdu language. Okay. Here we also have Tamil. Then Telugu. Oriya. And many more. Okay. In different states we have different official languages. How many languages are there? There are many languages. But we have two main languages for central government. And we have 22 official languages. How many languages do we have? 22 official languages. It is used by the state. Okay? Such as Marathi is used in Maharashtra. Then many states use Urdu language. Then Tamil Nadu use Tamil. In Andhra they use Telugu. In Odisha they use Oriya. Okay? In the other hand we can say that there are about 1600 languages in India. Okay? How many languages? There are about 1600 other languages in India. Okay? Such as Marwari, Sanskrit and many more. Okay? Here we will see now the people who can speak two languages. Okay? How many languages? Two languages. The people who can speak two languages. How many? Two languages. They are known as bilingual. Okay? What do we call them as? Bilingual. As they know two languages. As they can speak two languages. They are known as bilingual. And the people who can speak three or more than three languages. Okay? What I say? They can speak three. Well, they can speak three or more more than three languages. They are known as 
multilingual. All right. What do we call to them? Who knows? More than three languages, they are called as multilingual. Do you understood the difference? The bilingual are those who speak two languages, and the multilingual those who speak three or more than three languages. All right. Then we can see that the different languages, types of food, and clothing style, they make India. Diverse. What is diverse? Diverse means different from each other. As we look different from each other, we smile different from each other, and we are having different habits. In the similar way, we can say that the different languages, types of food, make India diverse. Okay? Diverse means different from each other. Okay? What is diverse? Diverse means different from each other. So here we can see that we can see unity in diversity in India. Okay, there are we are all are different in many aspects. So here diversity means a variety or range of different things. What is mean by diversity? Diversity means the variety or range of different things as we have seen we speak different languages we eat different types of food we wear different clothes okay so here we can say that we have diversity in many things now can you tell me what are the diversity yes the diversity means variety or range of different things what are the different things that we have in India? Yes, we speak different language. Okay, then we eat different food. Then we use different clothes. Okay, and many things that we are having different. So here there are certain reasons behind the diversity of India. Now we will see what are that reasons. The reasons are the climate and physical features affect the culture of each region. So this culture or this diversity of culture is depend on what? Yes, the climate and physical features of India. Okay, because of that climate and Different physical feature, we are having different culture in the different region. Okay. What I said? Yes. The climate and physical features affect the culture of each region. As we are having different climate in the different regions, or we can say that we have different physical features in different regions, such as to the north, we are having Mountains, then we have northern plains, then we have peninsular plateaus, then we also have desert, islands, and coastal plains in India. These are the different physical features of India. So they affect on the culture and living style, lifestyle of the people who live in that particular region. Understood? Yes. So here we can say. The people who live in the region, they have different culture from another region. Okay, as we are living in Maharashtra, we are having different culture. We wear different clothes, we eat different food. This, in the same way, the people who live in the desert region, such as Rajasthan, they speak different languages, such as Rajasthani, they eat different food. Okay, they also wear different types of clothes. In the same way, if we can see northern mountain, the region which are having northern mountains such as Jammu and Kashmir, Uttarakhand, Sikki, Meghalaya, Mizoram, this side, they are having different living style, different lifestyle. They wear different clothes, they eat different food. Okay. So we can say that this climate they affect on the 
culture okay not only the culture they also affect on the food then clothing yes they affect on the food then also on the clothing style of the people these climate and physical features they affect on the culture food clothing okay and it also affect on the food okay they also affect on the food or crops we can say that they also affect on the crops so what is crop yes very good we can say there are different crops we grow in maharashtra such as jowar bajra and cotton okay so in other region they also grow different crops so we can say the staple diet is nothing but the food which is easily available in the region okay what is staple diet the in the region the crop which is grown in the large amount or which can easily available in that particular region that is known as staple diet okay here in maharashtra we grow jowar bajra so we have that as our staple diet all right good and so here we can say that what is staple diet staple diet is the food which easily available level in the region okay in a particular region if we get that food easily it means that is the staple diet or staple food of that particular region understood so what points we have covered in today's class yes what is mean by culture so what is mean by culture the culture is nothing but the language food clothing and other habits of a group of people in a particular region that is known as culture okay so there we can say we speak different languages in different region there are two main official languages of central government and each state having its own official language so here there are 22 official languages in india and other than this we have 100 1600 languages in india okay we have 1600 languages in india so the people who speak two languages they are known as bilingual and the people who speak more than three languages they are known as multilingual okay then here we have seen that we can see india is a diverse country as it having different languages types of food and clothing and culture and many more things okay so here what is mean by diversity diversity is nothing but the variety or range of different things so what are the reasons between the diversity yes the climate and physical feature these are the two main reason behind this diversity in india okay and so here we also can say that the the this climate and physical feature they also affect on the crops of a particular region okay so here the staple diet is the food which we easily available in the region or in the particular region all right students i hope you have understood all these points if you have any doubt you can ask okay we'll see next point in the next session till that time thank you